CGI problem. Remember, when we are solving CGI problems or any kind of word problems, we want to make sure that we really understand what the problem is asking us. And when we can, one way we can do that is coming up with a picture in our head. We start with numberless word problems. Miss Lizzie wants to change the way her classroom desks are arranged. She has some desks and she wants to put them in some equal groups. So we're picturing a classroom. I'm picturing our classroom, except for instead of tables, we have desks. She has some desks and she wants to put them in some equal groups. So I'm picturing a classroom with desks in it and I'm picturing equal groups around the classroom. Miss Lizzie wants to change the way her classroom desks are arranged. She has 32 desks and she wants to put them in some equal rows. So in my head, I'm thinking, I see 32 desks and I see them spread around the classroom in equal rows. That word equal is really important. Equal rows. So each group is the same. Miss Lizzie wants to change the way her classroom desks are arranged. She has 32 desks and she wants to put them in eight equal rows. So now again, I'm coming up with an image in my head. 32 desks split into eight equal rows. Miss Lizzie wants to change the way her classroom desks are arranged. If she has 32 desks and wants to put them in eight equal rows, how many desks will be in each row? So I'm going to create a picture in my head and I see all of the desks and they're in eight equal rows. I want you to draw a picture to show 32 desks split into eight equal rows. Your picture should most likely come out looking like an array. Remember an array has an equal number of rows and columns. She has 32 in all and she wants to put them in eight rows. The question is how many desks will be in each row? Draw a picture to help you come up with your answer. Share the picture with us, with me, Ms. Shea, and Carlos before Friday. I would like to have them on Thursday. This way I can show, we can show your work at our Friday morning meeting for CGI rather than showing our work. I would like you to be able to share your work and explain it to your classmates.